Give Me a Reason to Live came out of a, a project I was invited to do by Dance Umbrella, which was to uh, be part of a project looking at the work of the medieval painter Hieronymus Bosch, whose 500th anniversary of his death is 2016. So there's a lot of uh, projects around that, a lot of investigation. I had an opportunity to see a lot of his paintings in real life rather than just in books and to learn a lot about the context of the time. The idea of empathy became quite an interesting topic for me when I was looking at the work of Bosch and it found its way quite strongly into the work and that I was really curious about what it is to, to empathise with other human beings and where the lines fall between sympathy and empathy and apathy. Give Me A Reason To Live was triggered by sketches of beggars and they were all cripples. So the idea of, of begging and disabled people is begging in this constant tight wire <laughs> act that you're running between needing to ask for support but also trying to be independent is this sort of constant unstable ground that you're placed in quite a lot as a disabled person. The kind of exploration through movement that I do tends to be very much specific to trying to find the potential of my own physicality um, and my own physicality in relation to the crutches that I use and what is the full potential of that. I did grow up very much with the influence of society telling me that I was wrong and needed fixed and I absolutely kind of agreed with that growing up. I thought being disabled was wrong and, and I think by working in dance, my perspectives were shifted and altered so dramatically to find that there were possibilities actually because my body is the way it is and because it's used crutches and it's evolved to know them in such an intricate way that it offers far more opportunity for me than if I wasn't disabled. The research done in the, in the National Gallery in London was extraordinary. I was really sceptical about it in advance. We were being given space to work in the galleries, three galleries alongside the Bosch painting, when the gallery was open to the public, because I was doing things that were kind of related to struggling and uh, begging and things that were physically quite awkward looking and people would kind of come up and are you okay do you need help even though to most people in the gallery it was clear that there was something performative going on and it was interesting for me to be in this position of my normal cynical my normal cynical reaction would be like you know you know asking me if i need help i don't need help you know but at the same time also having a huge respect for people that were willing to kind of take that risk. I think being based in Scotland creates a lot of possibilities for me in the sense that I think it's it's perhaps been easier to, to thrive as an independent artist in, in Scotland. I think elements of the humour, I think, is quite an important part of a lot of the kind of Scottish character, for want of a better term, and that's always been quite a, an integral part of my work historically. Although interesting, this, this new piece is the first piece that kind of deviates from that but I think it informs the way that I look at the world and look at issues. Um, I think the sort of self-deprecating character that uh, kind of we're moulded into in Scotland, I think kind of really uh, shapes the lens a little bit and flavours the work that I make.